Hello dancers, and welcome from Canada's National Ballet School's adult ballet community. And a big welcome to any new friends who may be joining us for the first time. My name is Philip Payne, and I am a teacher in the adult ballet program at Canada's National Ballet School. Now, usually you would find me in a studio, but much like yourselves, I'm having to be a bit more creative with how I'm dancing today. So today I'd like to lead you through a one hour intermediate adult ballet class that you can do from the comfort of your own home. And for the next hour as we dance together, I really hope that this brings you some joy into your lives. This would be fantastic. And I know even in these challenging circumstances that the world is experiencing, one of the beauties of our art form and the ability to connect with so many people on a virtual platform is that a class like this can help bring a sense of hope, bring a sense of connectivity, and bring a real sense of community that can really help strengthen us in this time. So let's talk really briefly about our dancing space. Obviously, you need to have enough room to move freely. We don't want anyone bonking any heads with low line light fixtures. Uh, we don't want anyone karate chopping or kicking anything with their feet. Keeping stubbed toes away would be fantastic. Uh, let's also talk a little bit about our footwear. So we wanna have uh, enough uh, traction so that we don't end up slipping down. We don't want anyone to hurt ourselves during this time. Uh, but we do need to have enough so that we can smoothly move across our dance surface. And last but not least today, I'd like to say that the beautiful music today that we're going to be listening to is provided by Miss Marina Servan. And you can find her music on iTunes and ask at the Canada's National Ballet School any other places that you may be able to locate her music. In any way, take a few seconds to just double check that your dance space is clear of all the things that we were looking for, double check that your footwear is safe, and I'll see you in a minute. Take care. Well, okay, now that we have all of the preliminary stuff out of the way, we can jump right into our ballet class. So, we're gonna start facing our bar, or our chair in this case. We're gonna breathe down five, and six, seven, eight. Three quarter point. Turn it in, turn it out, lower the heel. Rush to the front, move the chair or bar if you need, and seven, eight. Same thing to the side, one, two, three, and four, and brush out a second. Flex the foot, reach the back of the leg nice and long. And a one, two, three, four. If you guessed back, you were right. And six, seven, and eight. Tendu side, demi plie, and tendu, and close, and a big side bend. Six, seven, and eight. Same thing to the other side. Side, one, two, three, Four, you brush your front, flex, and point, close. Bring your bar with you if you need, one, and the two, three. Just isolating that one hip, tall du side. Reach the back of the leg nice and long, and close. Lift nice and tall, two, three, four. You brush it back, flex, point, close. Brush to the side with the same foot, plie stretch and release and side bend six recover seven and eight nice and simple we're just going to finish with a little demi plie press through rise up and test your balance six seven eight open the arms to the side and then everything lower at the same time all right now as you can see i need to move this around a little bit if that's your case by all means, do as you need, just to make yourself feel comfortable. All right, are you ready? And. Now, lift as you load, brush the bone. Oh. 
release your right arm and side. side bend away from the bar and forth two recover three four and rise lower really reaching your eye line still all the way out through your apartment walls two three four grand plie five six seven eight bring the arm down one two lift into the back bends three four and up, lower. Tone to the second, but close first. And now that we've done a demi plie press through facing the bar, we're gonna do the same thing sideways to the bar. Only this time we're gonna float our arms up into third, find our balance, and then once more open. And a little demi plie stretch. And that's our plie next. Okay. Why don't we jump right into left arm on the bar. Ready? And. Really seeing the palm. Make sure the weight is right in the middle. So both legs. 
legs are getting an even stretch. nice and proud. Excellent. All right. Let's go to the other side. Move our bar slightly forward. Okay. So on this side, I really want us to think about how we can separate the upper body away from the legs. So we're getting this real beautiful elongation through the entire body. And always remember to breathe. So here we go. Thank you kindly, Maestro, and rush through the floor, everything lowers, then knees over toes. Just allow the arms to float up, doesn't bother any of the rest of the back, pushing the floor away as you open the arms, and a nice demi plie stretch. Take a moment to really feel that spine. Well, going right into our tall from first, as you can see I've now changed my bar, as my other one, my previous one, was a little short for me. So, if you have extra chairs, then you have this versatility. All right, so anyway, we're gonna breathe the arm, five, six, seven, and eight. Palm your front, turn it in, turn it out, and close. Then brush your front, and brush your front. Same to the side, turn it in, turn it out, and close, and brush your side, and brush your side. And to the back, turn it in, turn it out, Close and brush it back, palm back, one in each direction, front, close and the side, close and palm to back, clash, clash, close and reverse, in, out and close and brush it back, and brush it back, 
and tom de side. In and out. Close and tom de side. Really going through the foot each time. And the brush. One hip, out, close. And tom. Tom do. And tom de back. Lift, side, close and brush. Front, back, and the front, and close. Sound good? Think you've got it? All right, take a second to think about it. Here we go. Ready? And. Front, in, out. Brush. Into the floor. And same inside. This is a beautiful thing. We all want to hear this. It's like cooking. The chef still listens for the food and it also tells them how the cook is going. Same for us in ballet. By hearing that brush, we know for sure that you are elongating that beautiful leg into the ground. Fantastic work. So let me hear the brush all the way here in my apartment. All right, ready? And. Tell me if you hear my brushes as well. Same side. Stretch eight. 
So I may count that little part at the end, but it's good. It's good to feel that inner musicality, your inner metronome. Very important as a dancer. So here we go. Standing nice and tall in fifth, make sure the weight is placed evenly on both feet so we're not anticipating that tall dude and parking it on the back. In that way, we've lost our turnout muscle, so I really want to make sure I'm really tall on both feet. All right, here we go. Ready? And. Same song. Tom, this lovely little rap. And out, in, out. Now, one to the side. Ready? See the hand. Follow with the head. Oh, 
goes back. Inside leg. Grab the pen. Now flush. Two, three. Plie and reach. And reach. Close. Up. Out. Brush. Throw something away from you with those toes. Coup de pied. Side. Inside the leg to the back. Back flush. Back. Front. Plie. Wrong. Close. Plie. In the silence. Two. Three. Four. At any point, test the balance. Close. Inside leg to the back. Really keep those big toes away. And seven. Plie. And finish. Again with a nice proud finish. All right, beautiful. One more time. Get ourselves ready for the other side. So as we do these devil pages, really feel the turnout. What actually picks the foot up off the floor isn't that I just go here, but that I increase the turnout and that's what peels the foot off the floor. Now the real test is can I maintain or even increase that turnout as I do my little devil page. And if I can do that at a lower height, I should be able to maintain it at a higher height and then higher. And in that way, we're actually building ourselves up as we go in a very intelligent way. So let's have a try with that on the second side. Ready, maestro? And. And out. Save the side. Reach. And in. Inside leg. Out. Now clash to the back. Back. Front. Back. Plie and reach. And close. Coupier. Reach. And in. Alice on. the thigh or calf and demi plie stretch beautiful great job all right so here we go right into our rama jump i'm going to demonstrate this one on the other side just to keep myself a little balanced so nice and simple we're going to start in our fifth position right away we're going to bring the arm to first position on five open six allonge seven plie eight so we can be out on the one Wrong, two, three, four. Again, clear five. Wrong, six, seven, eight. Now, four more with the four to bra. Two, three, and four. We're going to brush to the front five. Bring it in six. Then we'll pay seven. Hold eight. You plie on one. Round the arm to the first. Allonge two. Two on the dog. And repeat. Five. Wrong. And just let the arm float to second. Now follow the hand. Two. Three. Four. Plie five. Six. Level pace seven. Now this time we're going to close on eight and open the arm to the side. Side bend one. All the way over two. Down three. Recover four and again five six to the back seven eight Tom to the inside leg one lunge down two put your knee down three four you have a few counts to do what you need for your body six seven eight so you can stretch your quad you can reach stretch your hamstrings you can squat into the side do a little side bend but we're gonna be here for 16 entire counts Recovering 
on A. Back bend one, two, lift everything up, three, four. Ponche five, six, recover seven, eight. Plie one, little bit two, stay three, four, test the balance, six, stay seven, eight. Plie one, up two, make your passe balance, three, four, and we'll finish the rest of the music here, finding that balance, and come down whenever you need. If you get a cramp in your calf, I'm pleased for you, that means you're doing it right. All right, I'll go back to the other side. We can start our ronda jump. Okay, here we go, into our ronda jump. Spin both those legs equally and beautifully. Ready? And. Plie on A. One. Wrong. as possible. So as we bend forward, we really want to open the back, and then as we reach the back, we want to open the front. And the same here, down, open to the chest. So really be sexual with the upper body. All right, ready? And.
foot, reaching both legs apart. Just as far as you need. One. Relevant. Keep engaging those abdominals. We have to make do with what we have, which is beautiful. Okay, let's jump right into our fondue. So, on this one, we're going to actually turn right and left, so you don't have to move your bar. But we'll breathe the arms five and six, releve seven, eight, and fondue to the flat, attitude, releve, and fondue to the side, single. Double coupe fondue to the flat attitude. Now keep the attitude relevé, and you test your balance. And six, seven, eight, and fondue to the back. Attitude relevé, and fondue to the side. Single on the don't double coupe fondue to the back. Attitude. Relevé, and five, six, allongé, close, détourné, fondue. Straight away into the other side. All right. So the first one's flat, the second one takes us into the rise. And the lift of the upper body is what allows us to find that elongation through the standing leg. Ready? And go. Double coupe inside leg. And relevant. The bar is still a little long for me. Challenge the adults to do something individual 
that makes them feel and own their own exercise. So we're still going to do it even though we're under lockdown. All good. Ready? And. Tom new side. Two. screenshots of your pose. That would be amazing to see. So, as you can tell, my balance was a little shaky on that side because I let go of the top of that hamstring. So if I keep it on the other side, we should be better off. So I challenge you to come along with me. Ready? And change my bar for a third time. So, starting on a slight angle, but we're going to prepare five, six, seven, open, A, double K, one, two, show three, four, plie, five, releve, six, seven, turn, eight, double K, inside leg, two, three, hold, four, Length of the leg as you plie, releve, stay, and change. Double play one. Plie two to the side, three, hold, four. Bring it in five. To the back, six, wrong, seven, eight. Bring it in one. Plie two, turn towards your bar, three. Reach low, four. And as you bring the eye line and hand up, so comes the toe, six, seven, and we'll do everything on the other side. But I'll be there with you, so let's just jump into it. Ready? And. Oh, some musical difficulties. Quite all right. Can do that again. Okay. Ready? Turn toward the bar, head down, 
swings and again those of you who know me you know exactly what we're about to do it's basically 16 counts each side so we start with a lovely tendu to the back five and a six beginning in first position tendu eight and we go one and a two all in attitude you just have to make sure you have the space to cross your leg and go one two three four five we turn lower tendu same with the other leg just to loosen up the hip, free up the hip flexor before we suddenly go from slow adage into our quick grommet mall. One and the two, three and the four, five, six, seven. Simply lower down eight, strike a pose again if you want, entirely up to you. All right, so starting in our first position, tall, 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 don't forget to breathe. Ready? And. It's entirely up to you. Up, low, and front, front. Hey, voila. Okay, so let's ground it on now that we've loosened everything up. So we're simply going to go. Five and a six and a seven and a eight. One and a two. Grand battement close. Grand battement close. Grand battement and close. Tendu side, but close front. Up, close back. Up, close front. Up, close back. Tendu and close. Double check you have the space. Grand battement and close. Grand battement and close. Now, like a pyramid. Tendu and plie, relevé, turn, lift, retire, or passe, plie, and the stretch. Tendu and close, three grand battements to the front. Tendu closing the first one to the side, you close front. And then grand battement close back, grand battement close front, grand battement close back with the arm. Tendu, close, three grand battements. Then tendu one, plie two, turn three, lift four, stay five. Six and seven, eight, and then we'll do a little center. Sound good? Excellent. All right, here we go. Again, this tendu is telling us exactly where our toe is going to leave the floor. So that's the longest leg I make possible before I disengage from the floor. So it's so important that we establish that first tendu so I know exactly where the end of my brush will be. So here we go. Thank you very much. Ready? And. Yeah. 
Hope you're still smiling. I haven't tuckered you out. Stepping off the bar, just for a little bit, we're going to do two exercises in the centre just to kind of acquaint ourselves with our living space. So, obviously, just double check your situation and make sure there's nothing impeding your movement. Let's all stay safe while we're at this. So, we breathe the arm and six and seven and eight. Tongue to close and in and plie. Tongue to land the step, in and in. One. Two and a three and four, five tom lie and two tom do. Alice gone. Lower tom do and going. Two forward coup de pied. Tom do and the reach and lift the tourne. Plie and the stretch. One, two and a three and four, five, six, seven. Eight. Let's take the arm here. Two and three and plie. Ton du ton lie. In and in. Ton du side. Lower the heel. Push. Going back. Coming on avant. Coup de pie. Fondu and the reach. Close fifth. Turn. Plie and the stretch. Sound good? All right. Here we go. Head and eyes well turned, again looking way beyond your apartment walls. Ready? seven, eight, step in one, open two, and three, open four, rush through front five, six, and clear seven, open eight, to go one, hold two, and three, hold four, spiral up stage five, Six and a seven, open eight. Forward bend, breathing out one, two, recover three to our Spanish fourth, and back bend. Six, reach to the arabesque, and coup de pied, fondue, carry to the quasi, and stay, and five, and tonlier. Stretch and hold. Again, stepping one and two, three. If they have to be tiny steps, that's fine. And brush front. Six and plie seven. Open eight and one, two. Upstage arm. 
and spiral upstage and reach arabesque. Open forward bend one, two, recover three, four, back bend five, reach seven, hold eight, coup de pie, plie, wrong, and stay. stretch and simply just go back to a classical pose and we'll finish there. All right, let's have a try this music. Ready, Meister? And with me today. The Adult Ballet Community at Canada's National Ballet School is such a welcoming and supportive community. It's a real joy to be able to bring this all online and uh, connect with all of you today. Uh, stay tuned to Canada's National Ballet School's Instagram and there should be details on future classes coming up. In the meantime, keep moving your bodies and hopefully we'll see you next time. Take care for now. Bye-bye.